Hi, my name is Anna Shadeen, and I'm going to be a senior at Loyola University in Chicago, and I'm from Duluth. My name is Lance Watkins. I'm a geography major with a focus in meteorology and climatology from Ball State University, Muncie, Indiana. I'm here working with Nancy Tuckman and Shane Lishwa on a project with an invasive cat. Yeah, my name is Sophie Hines, and I'm an RU this summer from Carleton College. My name is Jamie Olson. I'm a student at the University of Michigan. I was just here this summer was to basically categorize the weather conditions for, from July 1st to August 8th of 2009 for the cabinet. My work is with larval dragonflies and a snail called Campylomma decisum um, that are being colonized by zebra mussels, so zebra mussels are attaching to their backs. At ultraviolet light, um, penetration through the forest. We are looking at the effects that the typha has on gas emissions that the microbes of the microbes in the soil. So we're ma mostly looking at methane and nitrous oxide emissions because they're such powerful greenhouse gases. Colonized and non-colonized individuals of both the snail and dragonfly and bring them back here and dry them. We basically have tons of observation data. We have temperature, relative humidity, pressure, ozone, wind speed, wind direction, sunshine. So I've, I'm measuring here in the burn plot um, and I've taken some data in different areas of the forest with different types of species to try to see if there's any correlation between the, the types of trees and whether or not chemistry is happening or how fast chemistry is We're going is to go into Sheboygan Marsh and mechanically remove the cattails and try to restore the original ecosystem. The goal of better understanding the conditions that, that led to such a crazy summer because it was what I expect to see is that colonized individuals have a lower lipid percentage in their body which would indicate lower health and compromise. It definitely got me excited to do research and go down that path for a career. And that's pretty exciting. <laughs>